Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the game news and welcome to this special video. It's <laughs> blowing up all over the internet. And yes, you can see the picture behind me. Freaky AF, but this is happening. Holy shite. There's a lot of leaks. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about in this video about Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the remake. The Resident Evil Code Veronica X, the remake. Everything around it. Also, talk about what's next for Resident Evil. Um, this is what the title is called. And also, a new DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake. What could it be? Here's my views on this. So, let's without further ado, start off with Resident Evil 3 Remake. There's a load of leads been coming around saying that it has been confirmed that it has been worked on and that it will be released next year, in 2020. There is also a tweet about Resident Evil 3 Remake being a thing. There's been a load of leaks about it from a few different sources like uh, VR, or Evil VR and a few other sources. Now, I believe that this is a thing that's going to happen and I believe it's been worked on secretly and it's going to be a thing next year. Also, bringing up on this, I am really looking forward to this and I can't wait to see what Nemesis looks like in a remake. Now, a lot of people have put their own sort of mods on Resident Evil Remake to show what it could be like and I'm hoping it is like that. And for another thing, I'm hoping the police station will be a bit more... <laughs> Well, different, and hopefully uh, showing off some stuff that makes Resident Evil 3 Remake to a bit more storyline to say that it was before Resident Evil 2. Which, if you played Resident Evil 2 and then Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 3 shows that it's after Resident Evil 2 because not only there was no boards on the doors, there was also no barrier in the way that there was in Resident Evil 3 in the original so let's just say that I'm 100% sure that Nemesis was after so hopefully this will show that either the true fact that Resident Evil 3 was after or before now hopefully what I want to see in this is see the return of Barry uh, I see Brad in this um, unfortunately he will die in this because it happens in the game I'm looking forward to seeing Nemesis, the involved hunters, the hunter alphas or whatever they were called, uh, the drain demons, I'm looking forward to seeing what they would look like, um, the spiders, I hope they bring that back because that was a thing that was missing in Resident Evil 2 Remake, there was no spiders, which I was surprisingly sad about because they were a big part of Resident Evil from 1 and then 2 and 3. Um, hopefully, might see some new enemies, uh, like we didn't see in <laughs> Resident Evil 2 Remake. But I'm hoping that we will get to see more close to the comics, and hopefully we'll get to see Mr. X. But that's very unlikely, I want to try and stick to the original thing. But I can't wait to see what cars will look like in Remake, and who they're going to voice act for this, and what the whole game is going to look like, what the graphics are going to look like. What the streets are going to look like because we don't see much of the streets in Resident Evil 2, so it's going to be fun what they're going to show as a remake of this, uh, where they're going to start it, uh, what stuff are they going to show, are they going to add bits from the opposite Raccoon City where Jill's running away from Nemesis and then he throws a bus at her or some sort of that way. So, we're we going to see that as well. Um, what I'd like to see, well, I'm hoping and I would love to see Nemesis taking it on. Mr. X, um, uh, basically Jill gets a chance to escape, uh, but that's not going to happen. I would like to see Barry in this, I would like to see a DLC with Barry in it from the comic books. Uh, to save me making a mod on it, <laughs> but they're not going to do that. Um, I'd like to see how the whole... Um, uh, the whole basically... How it will, the gameplay is going to work, how the graphics will work, and more wanting to hopefully see um, the police station, and if they are going to do it before, what it looked like before Zero 2. I'm still holding out on a few other things that I would like to see. I would like to see the return of Mercury's mode, and I'd like to see a few other extras 
like Call of Duty Resident Evil Remake, the Ghost Survivor, what if scenario. So I'm more of a what if Brad survived Nemesis or what happened to Brad after Nemesis killed him. I would like to see the original idea that Brad was supposed to attack Jill on the way out of the police station uh, in his Nemesis form, but it didn't really happen. I would like to see uh, his thing, what he done leading up to the events of him dying as Brad. Um, I would like also to see uh, a Barry section. Um, pretty much, I would like to see a few other the, the extra characters that were in it, see what they what they would have done. And get to a certain point where they you know, end up getting to the place where they die. Okay. Uh, yeah, various a lot of other stuff. Um, I'd like to see either Resident Evil Outbreak as a DLC for Resident Evil Nemesis or Resident 2 Remake. That brings me on to the Resident 2 Remake release that have happened and talked about. Uh, on Steam there was a new trophy list that's come up and basically a lot of people are thinking hopefully it's the what I never had when I was growing up because the PlayStation 1 and GameCube version never had this extreme battle mode. For some reason, we never had a stream battle mode on Resident Evil 2. Hopefully, with the remake, they will release that as a DLC. Now, I'm hoping that's not the only DLC that's being released. I'm hoping Project Resistance will be released as a playable DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake, as well as either an Outbreak remake or that we left for Resident Evil 3 Remake, or a separate game itself for Resident Evil Outbreak uh, remake. Uh, a lot of people were. You know, we had a lot of fun playing. It was quite a good experience to play with Project Resistance. Now, hopefully, they're not going to make a full game out of it, but hopefully, it's like a sign of things to come for the Outbreak remake. Also, I'm hoping for that the Project Resistance becomes a full game DLC released as a multiplayer thing for Resident Evil Remake because it looks like Resident Evil Remake. So, I'm hoping that this be like the closed beta that we did to try out was going to be the new um, DLC for. Resident Evil 2 Remake with hopefully the Extreme Battle Mode or they replace the Extreme Battle Mode with this Project Resistance um, deal as a thing because it's weird that we played this closed beta and everybody had good feedbacks for it and then all of a sudden this new um, DLC comes up so I've got a feeling it's going to replace the Battle Mode or the Extreme Battle Mode which I was a bit disappointed but why is Chris Redfield play a mod on it so it's most likely they'll be releasing two DLCs one, the Extreme Battle Mode, so you can play Chris Redfield and Leon, Claire and Ada. Also, you probably get to play probably a few, a few other characters. And also, releasing Project Resistance as a, a free DLC for Resume 2 Remake. And even though they, in the questionnaire they said, would you like a, 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 um, a basically proper physical copy or a digital copy. Well I put for physical copy but if they make it as a DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake that would be even better because I would be more 100% for that and it will be a lot more awesome and it will profit the Resident Evil 2 Remake game more often people will more go back to play it and stream it for more replayability for it. Now on to the other leak that I heard about was the Resident Evil Crew from the Correct Remake being announced or talked about the voice actress who played Claire Redfield in Resident Evil to remake has said on her Twitter or quite some time back that it's been sourced and talked about that uh, the voice actress is willing and most likely doing the Resident Evil Cover on Christ remake next year as well with Resident 3 remake as well. Uh, so there's two big things for next year so far. Two remakes coming on, um, probably not the same month but months between each other or so many months between each other in within them years so it's looking like Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remake as well as Cover Unreal's remake so that's the sources I've found that I've looked at and uh, I'm pretty 100% hoping for that they are going to happen and this is what I believe is going to happen and going to um, gonna happen. what I want to see from Cover Unreal's remake um, nothing much apart from the same sort of thing
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, this video. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from you what you think of, the, of this new announcement and uh, things that are happening. I know a lot of people will be like, well, we'll wait and see sort of thing. But I just wanted to share with you guys what's been shared around and I wanted to show my opinion and say what I want to say about it. So if you did enjoy this video, give a big thumbs up on this video, subscribe, share to your friends, and general so it goes a long way. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed using the comment section below to ask me anything and uh, what your opinions on this, what your views on this, what you think is going to happen, blah blah blah. And um, if you haven't already, please go to my link in the description and follow me on uh, twitch.tv where the Gaming Bros will be live streaming from Twitch from now on as well as Please follow me on social media of Twitter and Instagram. Follow me on my PlayStation N account, which is down in the description below. Everything you need to know, all my links and stuff are in the description below. The person that's making my intro and outro is also in the link in the description below. He does a lot of Star Trek memes, Star Trek videos. He does play Resident Evil as well, uh, but he's mainly more known for Wolfenstein and Star Trek games. Hence his name, Wolfenstein. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, like subscribe share generosity goes a long way i want to catch you all you the game of both fans in the next one dismissed